G'day mates. Many people with sleep apnea also have hypertension. Today I'll show you how to track your blood pressure and also how to sync that information with Apple Health. Now I'll put some information in the description down below of the equipment you'll need. But step one is to open up the App Store and download the Vi Health app, V-I-H-E-A-L-T-H. Here we are. Get started. Now you can create an account and that will send all your data to the Vi Health service, which is over in China, just so you know, or you can choose guest mode, which will store all the data locally on your device. Now today we'll just use guest mode and it's up to you whether or not you want to create an account. Um, guest mode. Vi Health would like to use Bluetooth. Click OK. And then it says add your device. So just make sure your cuff is on. So just hit the button there, turn it on. There we go. And you can see the cuff has shown up on my phone. We'll click the cuff here. And then what we do is we just tap these two buttons simultaneously. Just tap them like that. You can see it's connected and we're good to go. Now the next step is obviously to take a BP measurement. And it's important when you're taking a BP measurement that you're nice and comfy, sitting down, feet firmly planted on the ground, and you're not talking or moving excessively. And ideally you wanna take a number of different measurements through different points of the day because your BP will change naturally throughout the day and overnight. So we just slide the cuff up over our arm. You can adjust the tension if you want, Velcro. Sitting down and you wanna rest your arm on a nice flat surface so that the cuff is ideally around your heart level. And then with this one, you just click start. And it's as simple as that. There you go, 117 over 81. And it does provide you with this nice little color coded chart to give you an idea as to where you are in the range there, but pretty good. Add some notes if you like. Now, the other thing you can do with this cuff is you can take an ECG measurement. I'll show you that now as well while I've got you here. All right, so just on the dashboard here, click ECG up the top. All right. Now, last time we pressed the start button. This time we're gonna press the little button to the left that has the three vertical lines. Click that and we just hold it in our hands, in the palm of our hands, on the two metal plates. Once again, nice and quiet. Nice and still. Done, regular ECG, heart rate 65 beats per minute. And now when we open up Apple Health, in the summary tab, we can see right here, blood pressure 117 over 81, which is the measurement we just took. But if we click on this, we can also look at different ranges here. Okay, month, six month, over a year and so on. I don't really need to track my blood pressure because it's pretty damn good. However, if you do have hypertension or any blood pressure issues, then you wanna track it. It's nice and easy to do, nice and affordable and you can look at your trends over time, and then you can take that information to your doctor next time you go for a checkup and say, hey doc, what do you reckon about this? And I'm sure he or she will be very impressed. Until next time guys, sleep well, look after your mates. I'll see you soon, cheers. G'day mates, this video is sponsored by Sleep HQ. Upload, review, and share your detailed CPAP reports with anyone from anywhere. Visit sleephq.com and join our free community today.